Nolagent here at Aretha Frankenstein's in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. Join us on our tour of Chattanooga, Tennessee restaurants in this episode as we visit Aretha Frankenstein's restaurant. Our Chattanooga, Tennessee restaurant review videos will take you on a tour of good places to eat in this great area of Tennessee. Aretha Frankenstein's is located in Chattanooga, Tennessee at 518 Tremont Street, which is about 7 hours and 491 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This restaurant opened up back in 2004, and since then, many people have ranked Aretha Frankenstein's as one of the coolest restaurants in Chattanooga with its great 90s vibe. Aretha Frankenstein's has great food along with being recognized for their nice beer selection. This place is really popular with tourists, which often means a longer wait to eat here. One, there's one. Okay, the wait's probably going to be 40 minutes right now. Okay. Yeah. So they have seating both inside and outside, so you do get a little bit of a choice if you have a larger party. I'm just one person, so I get to wait. Now all these chairs outside are simply to sit in and wait. They don't serve food out there for some reason. Uh, now they do have a cool old 70s car right there, of course. Now there's plenty of space to sit and wait, but uh, certainly it would be more enjoyable if maybe you could eat out here as well. But you've either got to be in a table here in front or in the inside to be able to eat. And they have the rules just like most other places. So you definitely get a nice pleasant selection of options. But the cool stuff to me is mainly inside here. Whoa, -ho -ho, look at all this wonderful stuff. So they have a great selection of 90s memorabilia in here and some very cool stuff to see. So you certainly wanna make sure you've got a little time to check everything out in here and to see some of my old favorite memories here as I certainly enjoyed a fantastic musical performance by Big Star right there. And I love seeing a lot of my old favorite musical groups and other things from the 90s that they've got in here. So certainly it's a fun spot with a cool vibe and they have great music they play in here. So I certainly find the overall ambiance to be quite pleasant to my taste at least. And there's always something interesting to see in every nook and cranny. So make sure to take a little time to enjoy yourself and get ready to eat some pretty darn good food as well. And they have a nice selection of condiments to go along with your food too. Well, let's go ahead and check out the menu now. Aretha's is not fast food. Everything is prepared to order in our tiny kitchen. Please understand on Saturday and Sunday brunch or other busy times, waiting 30 minutes or more for your food is not uncommon. That said, thank you for coming and enjoy. On the next page, we have Aretha's breakfast. Serve with a biscuit and your choice of fried potatoes or spicy grits. Eggs and bacon, eggs and sausage, Polish eggs, shrimp and grits, Super Dave scramble, breakfast burrito, we have omelets prepared with three large grade A eggs, cheese, Mexican sod buster, jabber, bacon and cheese, Italian, feta and spinach, potato and bacon, shrimp and cheese, Philly, pancakes and waffles, a slim stack with two buttermilk pancakes, or fat stack with three buttermilk pancakes. Then we can add a dollar for our blueberry melange, and a waffle of insane greatness, elephants Gerald, we have our sides with biscuit, biscuits and gravy, biscuits and gravy small, an egg, a pancake, fried potatoes, apple with bacon, sausage, two pieces, add Philly steak and grits, and then biscuits, egg biscuit, egg and cheese, bacon biscuit, sausage biscuit, bacon and egg, sausage and egg, bacon, egg and cheese, sausage, egg and cheese. Next up, we have Aretha's lunch. Lunch service starts at 11.30 a.m. We have quesadillas with a regular or a deluxe with cheese, bean, or spinach. Then burritos, regular or deluxe with bean, beef, bean and beef, or enchilada style. Then a great combo, cheese quesadilla and a side of refried beans. Sides of refrieds. We have break bill style, home style, and night style. Then we have sides and extras with refried beans, spinach, cheese, beef, sour cream, salsa, onions and peppers, hot sauce, mushrooms, add Philly steak, then nachos with beef, cheddar, beans, lettuce, tomatoes, jalapenos on a bed of nacho chips topped with a sour cream and salsa. Then we have sandwiches, the Maryland, a hoagie with salami, honey ham, turkey, Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and balsamic vinaigrette. The BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato on grilled Texas toast. The Tree Monster, scrambled egg with grilled onions, peppers, and mushrooms, and cheese served in a steaming baguette. 
the Tree Hugger. Scrambled eggs with grilled jalapenos, onions, potatoes, mushrooms, garlic, and cheese served in a grilled hoagie. The Polish. Polish sausage with grilled red peppers and onions and provolone served in a grilled hoagie. The Philly. Philly steak with grilled onions, green peppers, provolone served in a grilled hoagie. The Cheese Melt. Grilled Texas toast with melted cheddar, American provolone, grilled onions, and tomato. Next, we have Aretha's Drinks with soft drinks, Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, iced tea, sweet only. They don't have my unsweet tea. Ah! Various hot tea, coffee, orange juice, 12 ounce, orange juice, 20 ounce, milk, 12 ounce, milk, 20 ounce, hot chocolate, and beers. Please ask about our available beer. Specialty drinks, hot or iced. You've got an espresso, double, triple, or wake the dead. Cappuccino, cafe latte, cafe mocha, flavor shots, chai tea latte, shot in the dark, Irish eight ball, pint of Guinness with two shots of espresso, an Irish cue ball, a pint of Guinness with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And they also have Aretha Frankenstein's pancake and waffle mix available for sale here as well. I was greatly disappointed in the lack of unsweet tea, so instead I just got coffee. <laughs> For my lunch, I got a regular beef burrito enchilada style. Now the cheese isn't melted here, which I was a little uh, unhappy with. I thought the cheese should be a little more ooey gooey melted. And it's uh, definitely not what I would call ooey gooey melted. So uh, certainly a little quality control issue I would uh, tell them to recognize in that. Now let's go ahead and take the first bite and see how this thing is. It has quite a pleasant aroma. Um, there certainly are some very nice smells coming off of it. I will say that. And here we go. First bite and ho ho holy moly. This thing is really spicy. This might be the single most spicy item I've ever ordered. Not spicy that came super spicy. This thing is uh, definitely up there on the spice meter. And I am used to spicy food. I like spicy food. But wow, this might be one of the single most spicy Mexican food items I think I've ever sampled where I didn't add additional hot sauce or some other kind of spice thing into it. Standing alone, this thing comes quite substantially spicy. Just so be warned, if you're not into spicy food, this thing might not be for you. I certainly feel a very nice, excellent burn going on in here with each and every bite. My sinuses are certainly clearing out, so whoa, this is an unexpected level of heat to get in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I mean, this is above average hot for even Louisiana, I would say. So, hmm, this has uh, definitely got my juices flowing throughout all of my sinuses and taste buds. So, certainly, uh, to me, I enjoy the spice. A lot of people out there might not enjoy this level of spiciness, so double check that. But just like I totally destroyed this burrito, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this burrito. And while you're down there, make sure to check out things to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $11.74, which overall was a pretty affordable meal, I thought. So it took me about an hour to get seated to eat, and once I put my order in, the food came out very fast. So it was a Monday, which I thought that was a little bit of a long wait for Monday morning. Uh, your results could vary, certainly. Now, overall, I did enjoy my experience, other than the cheese not being melted ooey gooey, and I was quite surprised by that spicy kick. So, thanks so much to everybody at Aretha Frankenstein's for a really interesting place and a great visit overall. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge on channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts and would enjoy it. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.